All right, so you've just installed Arch Linux or any other Pac-Man based Linux distribution. And now you're kind of at a standstill. Maybe you're used to Debian or Ubuntu or something. And you just don't quite know how package management on distributions like Arch quite work. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about how to manage the packages on any distribution with the Pac-Man package manager. And more specifically, I'm going to be talking about how to use Yay and Paru, which are AUR managers. So we'll talk about that later. Now, the first basic things that you probably already know is that you can run sudo pacman you always have to run pacman with sudo you can never run pacman without the privileges of a super user and you can run dash s and then type the name of a package like gimp for example and there you go you can install it and press n over here and press enter there you go i canceled it one thing you'll notice is that if you do this from time to time maybe the package is actually outdated because your database hasn't been updated Either that or sometimes you'll be downloading a package and it just doesn't download it, it cannot find it on the repositories. And this is often due to the fact that you have not updated your databases. To do this, you have to run pacman dash capital S Y, lowercase y. So running this, it'll update all of the package databases. Now you'll notice something over here. I have the core, extra, and community and multi-lib databases, but I also have a custom one over here, which is home ungoogled chromium arch. You can make an Arch Linux repository of your own, and you can use Arch Linux repositories maintained by other people. If you go to the file etsypacman.conf and go right to the bottom where all the repositories are, you'll notice that there are many here. There's the testing repositories where you can get more exclusive packages, and of course there's the main repositories, the core, extra, and community repositories. But over here at the bottom, I have a custom repository, which is this one over here for ungoogled Chromium. Now you can get this off a GitHub page and stuff. There's many of these for specific packages. It's kind of like the, the Ubuntu PPAs or Debian repositories. So I just wanted to make this a point, is that if you ever feel like there's missing packages in the Pacman repositories, look online and see if somebody's made a repository for you to add to the config file, because sometimes that may be the case. But anyways, that's already getting a little bit advanced. Let's go back to what we were talking about before, which is updating the databases. If you want to update the databases and update the packages on your system, you can run sudo pacman s lowercase y and lowercase u, so u for update. Running that, you'll update all of the databases like we did before, and then you'll update all the packages as well. So there's a few package updates available if you press enter over here, because the y is capital letter, that means the default option when you press enter will always be yes. And then it'll start installing the packages. It'll start downloading them simultaneously and doing all that kind of jazz. Actually, speaking of the simultaneous downloads, we can make those even more. So go into pacman.com. If you go down over here to this section that says parallel downloads and uncommon You'll see that it'll download everything in one go, and that's really cool to look at. I wouldn't recommend increasing this above like seven or eight. Five will do for now. To list all the packages on your system, you can run pacman-qs. That's going to list all of them with a description and everything like that. If you run pacman-ql, it'll list all of the files on the system with packages. So if you run that and then pipe, I don't know, GIMP into it, right? We're gonna grep for GIMP. We'll see all the files that the package GIMP adds on our system. And we can make this a little bit more useful by using pacman-f. If you run sudo pacman-f and then search for any kind of file on our system, the system will then look through the package repositories for a package that could hold that. So for example, there's a command called netstat, right? I don't have it installed, so netstat. And let's say you don't know what package that appertains to. So you want to use that netstat command, but the package doesn't exist. There's no such thing as a netstat command. It probably has a different name, right? And you do not know the name. So you can run sudo pacman dash fy user bin netstat. So that's probably the path of the netstat tool. It'll update the repositories for the files. And right over there, we can see that user bin netstat is owned by net dash tools. So if you run sudo pacman dash s, net dash tools and then run netstat there you go we, we have netstat running over there so anyways those are some basic usability tips now moving on to more specific things the aur that's what i really want to be talking about today so if you go to aur.archlinux.org and search over here you can get a plethora of different packages maintained by users now this often means you're gonna have to compile the package from source if you're installing from the AUR now you might not really understand what that really means and you don't really have to because the AUR does all of that for you your AUR manager will do all the compilation 
for you. We're gonna get to how to install an AUR manager in a second, but I just wanted to clarify, if you go to etsymakepackage.conf and this line over here, make flags, make sure to uncomment it, so there might be a hashtag to begin with it, just delete that or number symbol and change this to the number of threads in your computer. So in my case, I have 12 threads, so you might make that dash J4 or dash J8. I'm gonna make it 12. This means that everything you compile on the system using the Arch Linux make package tool, which we're also gonna cover later, will use 12 threads, which is gonna make it much faster. So anyways, uh, I'm just gonna write and quit, write and quit. And now let's take a look at how to install a popular AUR manager, that being Yay. So if you go back to the AUR website, you'll see you can get some AUR managers on here. And a popular one is called Paru. So if you search for Paru, there you go, you can install this one. And of course, there's also Yay. So that's what I'm gonna search for, Yay. And right over there, there's the Yay package. So I'll have this linked in the description. And if you click on this link over here, this git clone URL, it'll copy it to your clipboard. So you can go back to your terminal and run git clone and then paste that link. So if you run this command, assuming you've installed the git software, you've now created a folder called yay or a repository. So we're gonna go into yay by using cd. And then if you run make package si, the system will start compiling and installing yay. Now I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna cancel, I'm gonna press control C. However, if you were to go through with this process and press enter over here, the system would start downloading go and then it would compile yay, it would download the sources to yay and get all that done. And then eventually by the end of that process, you will be able to run the yay command. If you run the yay command alone with no other parameters, it will automatically run pacman capital S Y U. So update the databases and update all packages, including AUR packages, which it can install. If you run yay and then pass a search term to it, like let's say I want to install whatever the kids are into nowadays, you know, Spotify, right? Spotify. You can see that not only does it give results from the Arch repositories, it also gives tons of results from the AUR. Now I'm not gonna touch any of this because I don't use Spotify, never touched it, so I'm gonna just ignore this, press Control C. However, you are able to search the entirety of the AUR just using this one command from your terminal. Just think about how amazing that is. You can look through a gigantic repository of packages, probably the biggest in the world, from your terminal, from the comfortable state of just sitting here and typing stuff. Isn't that great? Anyways, another few things that Yay can do that Pac-Man cannot. It can run dash P commands, which are not in Pac-Man, which give statistics about the system. One that I'm gonna use is Yay dash P dash dash stats which gives us some useful statistics on the packages on our system. So as we can see, we have a few very large packages over here, you know, the, the common offenders, the firmware, Nvidia stuff, LaTeX, Google Chromium, Firefox, web browsers in general, honestly, and Krita, and of course GCC. And as you can see, it gives me a total install packages, the foreign install packages, that's stuff from the AUR, or things that you personally cloned and installed, explicitly installed packages. We're gonna cover that later in a second because this is quite important. And the size the packages occupy. So in this case, 7.8 gigabytes. Anyways, my final note for today is gonna be this explicitly installed packages thing over here. This, and I cannot explain how important this is if you want to clean up your system and get rid of old packages, this functionality is essential. If you run sudo pacman or just yay dash qe, you will get a list of every single package that you personally typed on the terminal, not the packages installed on the system, which includes all the dependencies of it. These are all the things which you explicitly installed, and the system maintains a database of this on purpose. This means that if you're looking to delete packages from your system to get rid of old stuff or anything you think is a little bit bloated, then you can easily look through this list instead of looking through the full package list, which would be once again, yay-q, which remember, lists everything, and, and sudo pacman-q, does a similar thing. So this command over here, yay dash q lowercase e is imperative to cleaning up your system. Anyways, I've been Denshi. That was a video about Arch Linux package management. Thanks for watching and goodbye.